I got digital dash, can't ride with a art. I walk in the store and I buy the stock. I hide in the bins and pull off the lot. Got two the diamond, it cost me a lot. They flying like birds, but drop on this hot. 400 degrees, I burn up the block. Burn out, make one call, they turn out. You see the gang get the word out When the shit getting hot, you the first out Cover my wrist with a watch and I flood it with rocks Now I look at the time all day Be high, I ride through your block and I drop off the top And I know you can see my face You my dog at the end, don't care what the bitches say Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Fizz back here with yet another video today. I got y'all with another NBA 2K21 video. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep uploading 2K21 videos or if y'all, if I'm gonna just start dropping strictly news videos. But if you guys want more 2K21 build videos, because I was to end the year gonna drop the best build for every position. So if you guys want that, get this video to 150 likes, and I'm gonna know to just drop that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm asking for. Get this video to 150 likes, and that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, today I'm gonna go ahead and give you y'all boys the overpowered floor spacing slasher build and this build can do everything it's like the slasher build but some people could argue that it's even better you're gonna be able to shoot on it you're gonna be able to dunk on it when when i say dunks i mean contact dunks speed boost speed glitch at the highest rate possible you won't have hall of fame playmaking but it's gonna be just as good and then when it comes to the defense the defense is even it's, I would say it's not like crazy good, but it's it's okay. It's like average. I would say it's like average. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make this build, this demi god build that can do everything in the game. So yeah, man, if you guys want more videos like this, all I got, all I'm asking for y'all boys is 150 likes, and I got y'all with the best builds at every position. I'm gonna draw a video for each build, not like a video with all five builds. It's just gonna be a video for each build for the power forward, the center, the small forward, shooting guard, and point guard. So yeah, that's just that simple. But yeah, without further ado, no more talking. Let's hop straight into it. All right, so it's around that time again where the new NBA 2K is coming out. And I just so happened to hit 100K. And for y'all boys, showing my appreciation for y'all helping me hit 100K, I'm doing a giveaway. And I'm going to do a couple more giveaways right here, though. Right here, I'm pretty much just going to be giving y'all a giveaway of whatever choice. If you want it on PlayStation, you want it on Xbox, you want current gen, you want next gen. I'm going to give away 2K to whatever you want. And if you already got 2K, I'm going to just give you $60 or $70. Really, that's up to you. So, yeah. If you want to enter into the giveaway to be able to get a free NBA 2K22 game, all you got to do is go on Twitter, follow, like, retweet. That's it. I'm not asking for no more. If you don't want to enter, that's up to you. But, yeah, that's all you got to do. I'm doing a giveaway for y'all boys just to show my appreciation for helping me hit 100K. But, yeah, that's really all there is to it. Alright, so real quick, like I've been doing all my build videos lately, I'm going to be going through step-by-step, step, show you guys how to do it. It's going to be a little bit less edited of a version, but if you guys want the more edited versions of these videos to come 2K22, all you got to do is put that in the comments down below. Also, if you guys want the bad setups for these builds to return 2K22, put that in the comments down below also, because this is just going to be the build. So yeah, let's show you guys how to make it. We're going to go with the point guard position. That's just the position you want to go with, hand number y'all know we're going with every single time number four and right then when it comes to the pie chart we're gonna go down here and go to the shooting and finishing not this one not the scoring machine one but you're gonna go with the one that only gets you finishing hall of fame badges in my opinion this is arguably debatably the best pie chart in the game in my opinion i would say it is in my opinion most fun at least at least give me that at least now when it comes to the physical this is where you're gonna get your speed acceleration vertical and strength i'm gonna go speed pie chart but if you go vertical pie chart i've actually heard that if you go speed vert that's why people go that you actually get an added tendency to your dunking rating so i don't know if 100 percent that's true but from my experience I have noticed on builds that have higher vertical, I dunk at a crazy rate. So if you want to go with that, that's up to you. But I'm going to go with speed pie chart still so I can be as fast as possible. It's that simple. Then when it comes to the attributes. Now, when it comes to this build, you're going to end up with 16, 20, 14, and 5, I believe. I think it's 5 or it might be 6. Now, when it comes to getting 20, it's a little bit different than what you would probably be used to. But yeah, you're going to lower the mid-range instead of lowering the post-fade. Now, if you made it a different way, it would be different. But... The way we doing it for this one, <laughs> that's how you do it. Now, when it comes to getting the 14, you're going to have to lower the finishing and then going to put the rest on playmaking. Now, what you could do, you could lower this even more, but you know what I'm saying? 69 mid range, that's not really ideal. 
71 mid range is not really ideal so we just gonna raise that as much as possible that's my thinking about it and this is pretty much the attributes you're gonna have for now we're gonna get more into this when we change a lot of different things that we got next so hopping into the height weight wingspan body type that's completely up to you I'm gonna go slight then when it comes to the height um, we are in the metric system so when it comes to how I would make it what I usually do is I go 1.96 which is six foot five six foot five now one thing I'm gonna say real quick if you want to get the name you want to go six foot five what I do though a lot of the time I go right here and lower it a little bit so I can be able to get that added little bonus to my speed and stuff like that now when it comes to the weight let me make sure that I'm not capping on that I don't really see the point in doing that I think I would actually go here no nah, I don't see the point of that so yeah we're just gonna go we're just gonna go with the regular 1.95 then when it comes to the weight, pretty much just going to lower the weight as much as possible. When it comes to the weight, you want to get your speed, acceleration as high as possible while losing not too much on interior defense and strength. But if you go up on weight, you don't get that 87 speed. So that's pretty much the whole reason. Then when it comes to the wingspan, what I usually do on my wingspan, I usually go right here to be able to get that 80 three-pointer, 80 drop and dunk with an 80 ball handle. That's what I usually do. But um what a lot of people do most of the time they go up in wingspan or not even up in wingspan and that's really how they do it so they can get their driving dunk as high as possible but if you do it like this you could get all the contact dunks so if you really want to do that you could but if you even go right here you can still get all the you can get contact dunks you just won't get all of them you're only gonna get the pro and the pro if you don't know that's like the eight minutes worth of packages but obviously this is like not off rip this will be at 99 which we're gonna get into more detail soon but yeah when it comes to the wingspan you wanna what i would say is i would go right here to be make sure that you can pretty much get the floor space and slash your name and and while getting the name you're still gonna have an 83 pointer off rip you're still gonna have an 80 driving dunk off rip you're still gonna have an 81 ball handle off rip so it's really up to you um if you was at six foot five you could pretty much just go down one and it'll give you the 83 pointer but you won't have the 81 ball handle you have like an 80 but you have a little bit pretty much the same stuff on defense so i'm gonna go right here for video purposes and this is what i would do if i was making it so we can now go over what it's gonna look like at 95 to 99 now this is what it would be at 95 you have a 91 driving layup 80 driving dunk 83 pointer 81 ball handle all that stuff but then when it comes to hitting 96 97 98 99 you're gonna get plus one to plus four depending on what overall you reach so at 99 you're gonna actually have an 84 driving dunk that's how you're gonna be able to get the pro contact dunks then when it comes to the pro dribble moves you're gonna have that off rip you don't really even have to reach 99 like if you want to just upgrade your ball handle off rip you can do that then when it comes to the three-pointer you can actually get to an 84 three-pointer and depending on what takeover we can get we can go all the way up to a 94 three-pointer and that's not even counting if we have floor general helping us that can get all the way to a 98 if we have floor general helping us that's crazy as a w then when it comes to the mid range the mid range might be a little bit low to you but you can still get that plus 10 and takeover that could go all the way up to an 88 so that's still very good when it comes to the free throw post fade all that's gonna be above a 90 ball handle is gonna be at an 85 your lateral quickness is gonna be up to a 77 your steel is gonna be at an 82 your perimeter defense is gonna be at a 79 so a lot of these different things are gonna be raising to different heights like the driving layup that's gonna be at a 95 your close shots is gonna be at an 89 now when it comes to the speed and acceleration besides the three-pointer beside the driving up beside the ball handle for this build those are the two most important ratings because that's how fast you're gonna be able to speed glitch and how fast you're gonna be able to speed boost and yeah it's just simple so when it comes to the physicals you can get plus eight because of not only the plus four for your overall you can also to get another plus four for the gym rat badge so when it comes to that you're gonna get plus eight that's gonna be all the way up to a 95 speed you can have an even fast acceleration and you'll get all the way up to a 80 vertical so that's pretty much the build i'm gonna go with and then when it comes to the takeovers you get slasher sharp playmaker and shot creator shot creator is really not an option sharp is what i would probably go with on any build if i get that option i'm pretty much going with that every single time but i'm gonna talk about these other two options playmaker takeover is an underrated option because you're gonna get plus 10 to your speed with ball plus 10 to your speed plus 10 to your ball control all the good plus 10s that you really want on a guard build and you're gonna be able to take ankles which you can't do with anybody what well, you can take ankles but you can't put people on the ass pretty much um but when it comes to the play take you're gonna be able to help your teammates pretty much whenever you pass to them they're pretty much gonna have sh sharp take they can shoot from anywhere off the catch with play take but then when it comes to slash takeover you're gonna unlock the ability to unlock new contact dunk packages or animations in this one takeover you're gonna dunk way more you're gonna lay it way more you're gonna make more layups you're gonna dunk make more dunks and you get the best plus tens in the game so it's really up to you what, what you want i'm gonna still go sharp takeover because it's just so overpowered and the build comes out as 
a four spacing slasher. And the similitudes is low key crazy. Steph Curry, LaMelo, like, come on now, you know what I'm saying? If we talk about similitudes, that's what we really want. So, yeah, that's pretty much the build. This build can do everything, like I said. It can shoot, get contact dunks, get sharp take. You can even make it away so you can get lock take. I didn't really do that. You probably have to get a different name, but like, it ain't gonna lie. When it comes to the name, it's only a couple names as good as four spacing slasher. Um, I would say the inside out playmaker is up there. I would say the all around threat, the all around two way is up there. It's a lot of names that's close, but Floyd Spacer Slasher, that's got to be at least top five names in the game. But yeah, that is going to be the build. If you guys want more videos like this for 2K21, like I said, all y'all got to do is get the video to 150 likes. That's not a lot of likes. Y'all can do that. I'll get y'all something simple because I want to actually be able to drop those videos. But yeah, pretty much that's going to be the end of this video. If you haven't already, drop a like, smash, break, and destroy the like button. Subscribe if you do. We on the road to 100K. We already passed that, so we got to go to bigger and better things. I need to see what the next goal going to be. I need to set that up for my mind so I can get that straight and figure it out. But yeah, we're going we gonna to come with y'all with something new for that. But yeah, go ahead, turn on post notification. Be the first to every single one of my videos. Share this video to anybody you think this will help. But yeah, man, it's your boy Fist, man. And I'm about to be, man. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! Roll, roll.